Hey, what's going on everyone? I just got in the new Metabone Speed Booster for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. I got the .64 XL one uh, with the EF mount. I wanted to compare it to the Ultra .71 for the EF mount and the MFT and see the differences between the two. Um, as you can see, I'm just comparing the two speed boosters on the Rokin on 35mm and I'm keeping all the settings the same. So what I'm looking for is to see how much extra field of view I get between the two and how much extra light I get. I noticed using the Rokinons, which we're looking at now, that you do get significantly more light with prime lenses compared to the Canon lenses that we're about to look at. This is the uh, uh, 24 to 105. I think it's because it's uh, electronic iris, which is uh, limiting on how far you can go down and compare to the Rokinon. I didn't notice much difference between how sharp the images were compared to each other, so that's good. And also, um, as far as color shifting, I didn't really see anything significant visually. But there is a little shift, and we'll punch in with the RGB waveform just to show that, and also to show the uh, difference between the stops of light. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the Metabone Speed Adapter made particularly for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that and return the other one. Something to keep in mind is that this particular adapter is made for full frame lenses only and is only going to work for pocket cinema 4K cameras. Uh, if you try to use it with other cameras, you have potential of damaging those sensors, so just be aware of that. Well, I hope this quick comparison video was helpful, and thanks for watching.